Hi there, my name is Roy Dunn, I'm a professional photographer and I'm here at Cognosys to walk you through the unboxing and assembly of the infrared crossbeam sensor kit. This is a kit that goes with stop shot and enables just a multitude of photographic applications from nocturnal mammal photography along trails to putting a beam, an infrared beam across the mouth of a burrow to see what emerges, to ballistics, to pretty much anything in the studio that requires motion. You can break the beam, fire your camera and flash system you, with precision and repeatable timing to create effects that are, that are really achievable in no other way. With the infrared crossbeam kit, as we open it up, we'll see that we actually get a pair of transmitters and these are the infrared transmitters that have actually adjustable power on them and a pair of receivers. These receivers are clearly labeled as A and B and you'll see why that is later. And again, as in other um, sensor applications and sensor kits provided by Cognosys, we have the fitting that actually comes as default, which is for a PVC fitting, but we also get tripod mounts for each of the um, sensors as well as because we have the uh, infrared transmitters here we also have focusing lenses if you're wanting to extend the range of your beam say from above just a, a, a foot or two up to several feet we have these lenses which actually concentrate the infrared beam so that the receiver can be placed much much further away what I'm going to do is show you the setup. Oh, we also have cables. We have the stop shot system itself, of course, which is powered up here. We have the necessary interface cables, which I'll walk through. And what we're going to do in this video is actually walk through the setup. If we were going to be using the cross beam sensor or the dual beam sensor, I should say, for a ballistics capability. In other words, we're going to be photographing ballistics impacts on a target or, or through a substrate of some sort. And we're going to be photographing an air pallet or a bullet as it's traveling along. Think about the timing of that. You require incredible precision. This, this system gives you the opportunity to do just that. And what we have here is a fixture that while it's not a, a purchasable option from Cognosys, if you go to the Cognosys website, there are step-by-step -step instructions to creating this jig. It's very, very simple, very adaptable, and very cool. And the way we approach this is, as I mentioned, the fittings that come on the, both the transmitter and receiver are very standard PVC fittings, uh, plumbing fittings. And so you can get any length of half-inch PVC from any do it yourself store, hardware store, and create these mounts as you need. And we can mount the receivers and transmitters. We have receiver A in the front here. This is the receiver that actually interfaces with the stop shot, as well as the second receiver here, and infrared transmitter here. We line these up approximately and see what happens when we hook them up. But in order to go through the process of, of connecting these, let's start with hooking up receiver A to the stop shot itself. And very simply, we have different sized plugs and sockets for the different aspects of connecting. So you really can't go wrong with connecting this incorrectly. Let's take that from there and plug it into the sensor input of the stop shot here. Next, we need to provide power from receiver A to the transmitter A, which uses the different size plugs and sockets, as I mentioned, very simply, middle hole here to the power hole there. So we now have receiver A and transmitter A connected to the system. Let's do the same with B. I go from receiver A to receiver B. There's only one hole that that plug will fit. And then we hook the power from receiver B to transmitter B as so. And I'll just get the cords out of the way. Thanks for watching.